Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Mike McCarthy is the producer behind the boards. It's that time of the year where we go through all 32 teams with our seven round mock draft. And before we get started, let's take a look at the mock draft rules. First, these picks are based off what I would do as the GM of the team, not based off what I think will happen or what will actually happen in April's draft. And we use football game plan scoutings, prospect rankings, and big board, which you could find at footballgameplan.com slash FBGP scouting. These picks are based off what I believe the team needs are, and there are no trades in this mock draft. And finally, it's only a mock draft, so you can relax that sphincter and enjoy the video. With their first round pick, I went defensive line with Notre Dame's Jerry Tillery. His tape is excellent. I think he'd be the perfect complement to Grady Jarrett. Tillery can be equally as disruptive as number 97. Matt Ryan is still playing good football at age 33, but I want to upgrade QB2 on a roster with Daniel Jones out of Duke. Now, personally, I don't think he's a first round player, although he's likely to go there in April. But from a philosophical standpoint, and per this mock draft, it'll be wise for the Falcons to find a good young developmental option at the position in this year's draft. And I'm a big fan of Tyler Romer's game out of San Diego State. He's extremely solid on both ends of offense and could give Atlanta a future star down the line. The Falcons have two fourth round picks and with the first one, I addressed the cornerback position with Jimmy Moreland out of James Madison. The 5'10 corner seems to always have the ball in his hands and is one that definitely knows what to do with it afterwards. Running back David Montgomery would give Atlanta a solid tackle to tackle option as their RB2. Now, he may not test well, but he's been both durable and productive at Iowa State. Atlanta also has two fifth round picks, and doubling down on talented corners is never a bad thing. Anthola Kelly out of Fresno State is a fantastic one who isn't afraid to compete in run support. Colorado State's wide receiver Preston Williams gives the Falcons another big bodied wideout who's in the mold of current Falcon Muhammad Sanu. Going back to the offensive line in round six with Villanova's Ethan Greenwich. Now, I saw him dominate versus Temple earlier this year and had a really good week of work at the East-West Shrine game. He even has potential inside that guard at the next level. Rounding out the Falcons draft with Sam Houston State's Derek Roberson, who's one of the top edge rushers in the FCS, he would also add some much-needed punch to the second level. He's coming off a solid week of work as well at the East-West Shrine game. So that's a wrap here from the Football Game Plan Scouting Studios. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Be sure to follow me on all of my social media accounts. Don't forget to check out and subscribe on iTunes, the Football Game Plan Podcast, where you can find our Scout Team Podcast, which features a bunch of prospect interviews from the 2019 class. And as always, subscribe to the Football Game Plan Network located at youtube.com slash football game plan.